Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. Yeah, I know I'm a little shiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've been in my garden working this morning. That's what I've been doing. But I had to come in to make this video because it's a little windy out there and I want you to hear me, right? So today I'm going to give you 10 insects, 10 insects that you may find in your fall garden many times in our spring garden as well. But I want to get this video out just so you will know what the insects look like and some of their habits. So many insects, what we have, we have chewers and suckers. We're gonna go through the list of 10, and at the end, I'm gonna give you two bonuses. Yes, I will. <laughs> but I hope you have a beautiful Friday. But first, ha, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my zone nine garden. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> it's Friday, y'all. just don't know what they are, right? So I'm gonna share 10 insects that you will find in your garden uh, at some season or another, right? All right guys, so um, I'm doing this uh, video inside simply because it is so windy outside and yeah, you won't be able to hear me, right? So let's get this done inside today. So the first insect on my list, many of you have already seen this insect. Well, let me get over a little bit so I can make room for them. <laughs> there it is. It's an aphid, the aphid. So the aphids, they really do have a short life span. Yeah, about seven days, but they clone themselves. They are part of Genesis. So that means that they, in the beginning of the spring, they really don't need a partner to clone. Yeah, they clone themselves as soon as they get on our vegetables. And there are more and more and more and more. So if you see ants on your vegetables, yeah, probably you have aphids. Yes, you probably do. But that's the way she looked. Also, listen now, she comes in different colors. She don't have a standard color like green. You see here, she's gold. Different colors. They are change on you. <laughs> yeah, that's number one, the aphid. Number two is the army worm. So if you've never seen an army worm, there it is right there. Now, listen guys, in our garden, the insects that we find, there are suckers and there are chewers, all right? There are suckers and chewers. The army worm is a chewer. Yes, they chew our vegetables, eat it. They literally eat it. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. So many times you'll find these worms, uh, like, say for instance at this, okay? If you have two plants in your container, you have one plant that has been chewed on, eaten up, and another plant, nothing. It's beautiful. This is what the army worm does. It will feed at night and hide in the daytime. It hides under the plant, under debris, in the in the pot, like leaves or mulch. Mm -hmm. Now, that plant I was telling you about, the healthy plant and the chewed up plant, 
You will think to look for her in the soil by the chewed up plant, but no. You see, I've learned her little tricks. Go to the ones that is very healthy. Search around that soil. Search all around the rim of your container. That is where you'll find her. She's in the soil. Mm -hmm, she's in the soil. <laughs> Go look for the army worm. She's a beast. This is a bag worm. So I've read that, you know, the bag worms are only around pine trees or deciduous trees and uh, this kind of stuff and plants and things like that. Well, I don't have any of that in my area. Not at all. But I have bagworms. So the bagworm, you see her, she looks like an old piece of wood um, that is just decayed. Mm -hmm. But she's alive, y'all. She's alive. Yeah. The bagworm. A sucker. She's a sucker. Suck all the life out of stuff. The cabbage looper. <laughs> She's called the cabbage looper because of the way that she can move her body. Yeah, she's a cabbage looper. This moth is, she's a moth. Yeah, she's a moth. Her mother is a moth. <laughs> yeah. And you will see her flying around. She's nocturnal. And yeah, cabbage loopers. Yeah. You know, she loved brassicas, absolutely. And this is her season. She gonna do her thing this season, y'all. Not in my garden, though. Number five, this is a cabbage worm, different from the cabbage looper, simply because the cabbage worm lives in the head of the cabbage and as the cabbage worm will take chunks she's a chewer <laughs> she take chunks out of your cabbage big holes will be like a drill through there because she's eating the head of your cabbage you will see chunks so look for her at the top of your cabbage and around the rims of the cabbage heads that's her favorite food, brassicas. <laughs> so this is a Colorado potato beetle. Yeah, it took all of me to say that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this beetle emerges from the soil in the spring and begins to walk to look for food, right? And if you cannot find food by walking, he begin to fly. Yes, they are very destructive, totally. The cutworm. The cutworm, I have my battles with cutworms. They live in the soil. They also nocturnal, but they also live in the soil. So, yeah, they feed at night and hide during the day. And they will destroy our food. Not if I can help. That is a harlequin beetle. That's what she is, a harlequin beetle. Now, I've seen some people look in their garden and go, oh, I have a big ladybug. No, baby. No, no. She is not a ladybug. Long from being a ladybug. Mm? She loves brassicas of all kind, cabbage, mustards, kohlrabi. She love it. She love it. So this is what happens. The harlequin is a sucker and they will suck the life out of your leaves. Your leaves will turn pale, even have a white faint look on them. They will be dry. They are Flap in the wind, the harlequin is the one. That's the corporate of them all. So 
if you see this in your garden, it's a harlequin. And if you find one on your plants, remember many insects, they do not come alone. They like bad boys, you know. Where there's one, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> this is a mealybug. It's a mealybug. Now, a mealybug is like a nymph, and it will stay right there on your plant. The females do not have wings. The males, they have wings, and their only mission in life is to reproduce. Yes, so it's the mealybugs, yeah. They love your fruit trees too. They do. And number 10 on my list is the spider mite. It's the spider mite. So sometimes you may think, you know, I, it, that's the way it looks, that they will spin a web. They're spiders. They will spin a web all around the leaves and bunch them up like, you know, this is mine. They're suckers. They suck everything up. So, yep, spider mites. So let me give you a bonus, right? This is a bonus insect. <laughs> Just for you. Thrips. Thrips, that's what they are. So when these, after these, uh, the, uh, the eggs hatch, right? They are nymphs. And what they do, they eat, 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 and eat. It is essential for you to get rid of these guys out of your garden because they will not stop eating until it's all gone. Right. And this is my second bonus for you. It is a white fly. The white flies are suckers. They are suckers. And they will suck the life out of your plant. They will stunt the growth of your plants. Yes, white flies. Yes, so that is my 10 plus two of insects that you will find not only in your fall garden, but in your spring garden also, yes. But listen guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you in some way, all right? So in my next video, I will be sharing with you all what I do to combat some of these insects that I find in my garden. I hope you all enjoyed the video. All right guys, y'all have a wonderful Friday. Later y'all.